Hello viewers, my name is Navasa Jonathan and I'm going to be taking you on how best you can create, you can fill in uh, a Ugandan visa form in just a few seconds. You may be in any country like your America, USA, UK, China, India, where, and you're finding difficulties like in filling Ugandan visa. So in this link, I'm going to be taking you through just a simple, simple steps you can use to like, uh, uh, fill in your, your, your visa form. So just come to your, to your brother and then put HTTPS, uh, then visa.immigration.mo.uk, then you can put a hash, then uh, apply. So after that, you just press enter. And then once you press enter, what you're seeing what I've typed. Yeah, so once you you click enter, they will bring you to this platform here. And then you see this the screen, the screen message, and then you just accept. So once you accept, we have like uh, uh, four steps that you're going to follow, like when you're filling in uh, the visa. So we go to step one. Step one, basically they want to know like, uh, the type of selection, the type of visa, maybe is it a visa, is it a permit, is it whatever? So you choose whatever you want. In case you, have, you want a permit, you just choose a permit. And in case you want a visa, you choose a visa. So I'm 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 gonna select a visa. We have different different options. We have entry permit, student pass, dependent pass, citizenship, certificate of residence, special pass, and then visa. So me, I wanna want a visa. So if you choose visa, come to category and on category, you choose, uh, here they have very many things. You have visa for diplomatic and official passport holders, Uganda ordinary or tourist visa, East African tourist visa, transit and then multiple purpose. So what we're gonna do here, we're going to call it maybe Ugandan ordinary or tourist visa. So we're going to come here and then we say Uganda ordinary stock tourist visa. So once we do that, uh, you come and uh, select the category. We may have maybe, we have also different categories. So this is a single, a single entry. So that one will be done. However, uh, you'll be like uh, told different, uh, different uh, documents that you may need for you to submit this application. So supporting documents, we have different documents. Uh, for example, we have a letter st stating reason for transit and country of destination, cover letter of detailing the purpose of visit, immigration status of the host, invitation letter for the conference. In case maybe you've been, you're coming for a conference, in case you're coming for family visit, in case you come, maybe you need to be having a passport, biodata page is valid of at least six months, return ticket, support document of the proper invitation letter. Someone like you coming to visit has to like to write for you an invitation letter. You have to be having recent passports, size photograph, and then vaccination certificate of yellow fever. So let's assume that maybe we have changed this one to East African tourist visa. I want to see what exactly it brings. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you will also be seeing different, different, uh, different uh, judgments that are needed for you to, to do what, to proceed with, the, with, your, with, the, with your process. Yeah, so let's assume that maybe we want the, okay, we want the, okay, let us make it diplomatic. So once we say diplomatic, uh, things will just change automatically. And then when you choose here, you say maybe you can either choose official or diplomatic. So I'm choosing diplomatic. Once I choose diplomatic, uh, you'll find out that I'm not going to pay anything. And these are the documents. I want so I want I don't want it to waste much time there. After that, you just click next. So 
once you click next, you will see that step one is clearly done and it's marked green. So I'm going to step two. So step two, it's where you find a lot of work that a lot of documents that you need to fill. So you'll say like fill the form. Here we have group data, group data. So do you want to associate this visa to a group? So in case maybe you a group of people were covering that once, you can just come create a group here or you can enter an existing group. So let's go to part two, which is uh, your biodata. So for biodata, we have given names, maybe you say Navasa Jonathan. Navasa Jonathan, I mean, sorry, okay. Navasa, then Jonathan. Jonathan. Then date of birth, you can put in date as long as maybe you're born in that year or same month. So maybe me, I was born in 2020. Then November, I just pick any date I get. Yeah, so gender, you can say I'm male. And then uh, mental status, mental status, I can say maybe I'm divorced. Okay, separated. Then current nationality. So current nationality, you'll be able to see if your country is not listed, please check and verify that you need the visa or permit. So you just click choose and then maybe let's assume that maybe I stay in China. China. Yeah. So let me do for USA. So I'll just uh, type my first rate of the the country, then I come to USP, United States, which is here. And then do you have a dual nationality? You can either say yes or no. By me, I'm saying no. So uh, former nationality, if applicable. So former nationality, uh, former nationality, they want like where you, you lived before where you would be before former. So you can say maybe Uganda, okay. So place of birth, maybe I say Kampala. Uh, country of birth, Uganda. Okay, so after that, immigration status in the country of residence. Are you a citizen? Are you gonna be a, a student? Are you like, are you going for a job? I, there are very many, very many things. Okay, so uh, we choose like maybe I'm gonna be a tourist. So country of residence, where are you staying? Maybe USA, can say USA. And then, uh, and then, uh, country of residence, I mean, city of residence, city of residence, I can maybe say, Doi. Doi. Then current resident address, maybe, okay, let me say zone, one seven, I can put any zone. Then you can, you can put your number. For USA, you can say one, then maybe two, zero eight. Then uh, you have to make sure that you don't put any space. You don't leave any space here, like in the country code. If it is Uganda, just say two five six seven seven something like that. So you put your email. So I type in my email. Okay, you can confirm your email. confirming your email, you come now to your passport data. So uh, you must be having your passport. So I can say maybe the match passport. So uh, passport number, you have to put the passport number. So let's assume that maybe it's that one. 
and then issuing country. As I said, I'm in the USA, so I say USA. You learn that issued this this passport. Then I'll search for for USA. Then once I get USA. <coughs> Once I get USA, then place of issue, maybe California, California. Then I come to date of issue. Date of issue, you can say maybe seventh. However, you have to follow the format of the date. This is day, this is month, and this is yeah. So when is it ex expiring? So expiring, I can say maybe I can change the year to 2019. Then I can say it's 14th. Okay. So previous passports, in case you have you have any passport, the, the previous passport you can, you can say you can put the passports number. And then we have this question: do you have children endorsed on your passport accompanying you? So in case you have children who are going with you, you can say yes. And if you don't have, then I can say no. So we have other data. So other data we have like uh, address in Uganda, person, organization, hotel. It depends here on who invited you, like uh, to come to Uganda. So let's assume that maybe I have a friend of mine who invited me to come and visit him. So I'll have to write the name and then his phone number. Like now you can see here, name and telephone number. So maybe I can say, Timango. Timango. Timango Cecil. Number. Then you can put a comma. Then you put country code. Two five six, then seven seven nine one one three nine fifty. So after that, travel history, a uh, list of the last five countries you've ever gone to. So maybe here you can say, uh, I can say none. I've not moved anywhere. Remember to write your words in block letters. Call this a list of the last five countries or less you visited, or none if you countries were not visited. So you can even say none in case you didn't visit any country. So we come here on purpose of visit. Once you click here, maybe you can say family visit. I have family visit. You can pick any, any result. So date of arrival, you can say maybe second. Okay, so once you're done there, you come to point of entry where you want to have visa personalized. So here we have different places in Uganda where you, your visa can be personalized and you should be, you should go to the selected point to have your visa sticker printed and have your fingerprints captured. So uh, I can say maybe Google, because, okay, I can say Entebbe, because Entebbe is in Uganda. So I just click Entebbe. Then duration of stay. Here you have to say maybe, you have to make sure that you, you mention like maybe in a month, days, or years. So I can either maybe say one year. And then when I come here, I have to choose Yes. Or I can say maybe three. And when I come here, I say maybe three months. Hope you have understood there. And then we have different questions here. This question is have you been denied a visa before? If yes, say yes. If no, say no. Have you been deported before? If yes, say yes. If say if no, say no. Have you been convicted in any country? If yes, say yes. If no, say no. Are there any criminal proceedings against you? If yes, say yes. No, say no. Are you suffering from a mental illness? If yes, say yes. If no, say no. Okay, then you have to come and confirm there. Once
once you confirm, please tick that you're not a robot. And once you tick that you're not a robot, then you're good to proceed to step three. So you just click next step. So once you click next step, you'll be able to see that step two has been clearly uh, worked on. So now we are going to upload our photos. Like we need to upload our, our like uh, passport. We need to upload our uh, passport size photo. We need to upload our yellow fever vaccination card. And we need to, uh, to put any notes if maybe they are viable. So I just come and click here on choose file. And after choosing file, it will automatically take me to my desktop where my, my, my photos are. So once uh, I'm done there, I just come and pick a photo of my choice. So let's assume that maybe this is uh, my passport photo. So once I do like that, once I do like that, I just come maybe I click on this one, say yes. Here you'll be able to see your document is uploading. Please wait. And once it's there, you'll be able to see here, preview. And once I click like this, I'll be able to, to see it. So that one is uploaded. I come to my pass my 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 recent passport photo. I just click there. It takes me automatically to my desktop. I choose a photo I want, and then maybe I can say I want this one. Once I said I want that one, it will upload. And you can see here on your left, they are being ticked, meaning that they are verified. Once I come again here, I just like you know. I just come and uh, I choose another photo. Once I choose another photo, I can clearly say that maybe it's uh, this one and it will be uploaded. And then my last diplomatic note, I can also choose a photo. And once I choose a photo, I can put any photo I want and then it can be automatically uploaded. So, in the case you have any other documents, you can come here and click here, then you'll be able to upload your photos. So in the case maybe you don't have any other photos to upload, you just come to next step. So once you click next step, you'll see that all my parts, step one, step two, step three, are all done. So step four, it will be a step of going through all your data is it that whatever you put is the right thing? So you'll be able to see all the data you've put. So if you want to print it out, you can print it. And if you feel that whatever you've submitted is the right thing for you, then you can go ahead and submit. So I want to try it out. Let me try to submit. I say what they will say. So, I've clicked there. Please wait. And please note your application ID for further reference. That is my reference number. That means that my, my visa form has been submitted successfully. And to confirm that, you need like to go to your email address that you provided. So I provided this email address let's assume that maybe i've gone back once i go back and uh, i find it there once i go back i'll find that uh these guys have shared with me an email and to check on it you have to go like in your app updates and if it's not there you just click refresh the page and once you click the page they will be able to bring your email, showing you the details, showing you when you're born, and showing you everything that you may need to use in your form. So uh, thank you so much. 
I request you to stop from here and uh, I'm very grateful for your time and uh, for everything that you have done. Uh, to be honest, this is the, yeah, I think you can see, this is an example of an email that have been sent by this, by these people from the immigration office. Yeah, so thank you so much. I beg to stop from here and uh, I request you to peek in when you're filling in your forms. And uh, I'm very sure that uh, you guys are gonna like this. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, Go You Take, as uh, we are continuing to show you um, more, more and more things that could be coming on board. Otherwise, have a nice day.